Alright, hello there guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, so in this Python tutorial, we're going to be going, to be going over um, something I did the other week, or a few days ago actually. Um, so we, re we revisited this uh, bank account system, um, and currently we've created um, a bank tut or bank setup with an account and a bank py. Um, Set up, and so if we run it, we can uh, go ahead and um, uh, initialize a test by the looks of it. <laughs> um, I don't want it to run a test though, uh, so that's problematic. Um, although it does create the account that I want um, with the details folder that is empty, um, but that's currently what it does. So it creates this account system here, um, the account ID six. Uh, a detail with your name, blah blah blah, all this other stuff. Um, so to go on from this, we want to go ahead and we want to create those uh, accounts within the accounts. So the savings accounts, the tertiary accounts, all those other different uh, bank accounts you'd be uh, using in a standard um, bank account. So what we're going to go ahead and do um, here is. Uh, We've currently only gone to the point where it writes this details file. What we're going to do now is we're going to write the actual accounts file. So what we want to do to begin with is we want to ask the user how many accounts they want. So num account, oh, num account equals input how many accounts would you like? Um, and so that's going to ask you so how many accounts they'd like, uh, and we're going to make that an input uh, integer input. Um, and there we have uh, our first line of this part. So now what we want to do is we want to go for i in uh, range num uh, of account, and that's going to run through this part um, as many times as it needs. Um, run through however many you put into here, so one, two, three, whatever. Um, and that's what we've got this part up here for, the account type, which I'm actually going to remove these one, two, and uh, three from, because um, we, the way that I'm going to be doing the file system uh, saving, so when it saves the, the file name, um, I don't want that one, two, or three to be in there, I want it to be um, just a blank slate to begin with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go not created uh, equals tr true. Uh, and I need to go back and put an underscore there so it doesn't uh, create that as not a variable. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make account equal to zero. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go for i and uh, account type. Um, and this is going to be our printing of um, of what account we're going to use. Uh, so count plus equals one. Oh, I don't need a colon there. Um, and we're going to print uh, slash t plus string of count plus um, a dot and plus of i. So that's going to add the number to the beginning of um, of these here uh, so that we can still have a number on them and you can type in your number that you want. Um, and then what we want to do is while not created, while true, now that's going to run a loop inside a loop. Um, and we can go try. Um, Account, oh, account type equals int input um, my bad which account would you like to uh, I was gonna say which account would you like to open but I'll keep it simple we can you can obviously add that if you want um, and then we want to break so that's if, if when it tries this line here, if it returns an integer, 
um, it'll break and it will out of this loop here that we need to put a capital T in. Um, it'll break out of that loop and if we go accept um, then print um, please enter a number. Obviously you can go ahead and um, make that more um, in depth if you wanted to personally um, but for this the the uh, use of this in the tutorial uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that um, and then going back to the tr while the same line is the while true uh, we want to write an if statement so if not um, actually we're going to go back a bit and we're going to grab this line here so if not, path exists, I'm going to create that path, um, we want um, account types, I'm going to go like this, I'm going to go account types, square bracket, um, account type minus one, so that's going to, um, because say we are typing one to get savings, and that is in the zeroth item in the list. We want to take one off because if the user types one to get the one, they want to take one off so that they can get that zeroth column, the, one, the first item in the list. Um, and then we want to put a plus dot txt on the end because it's going to be a text file. Um, okay, and so now not created is going to be set equal to false. Uh, now for every iteration it'll be reset to true um, so this is just to make sure that if say a savings account is already uh, used then the user can't open another savings account within their sa within their bank account because there's already one there um, and that will stop that from happening although uh, in the future I may change that so that you can make multiple um, and it'll check for multiple um, at this stage it's going to be easiest to do it this way um, so now we want to go ahead and go account equals open and we pretty much want to grab exactly what we got here because if it's not existing then we want to open it instead um, and we want to go ahead and go in write mode so that's going to write that file okay um, and we also want to go ahead and go file uh, underscore info equals that um, now for i in uh, x in sorry x in um, account account info uh, we want to go ahead and go uh, value equals input And we want to go ahead and put in a slash t and then plus uh, x. Okay, so if value, I need to scroll down a little bit, value. So that's checking this if statement here. Oh, that, sorry, that input statement there. Um, dot upper is equal to a capital C so for close uh, and it'll return to the menu uh, else file info dot append uh, and we're going to append value to it now we could obviously try except for the statement um, to check for a number because we're really only asking them for their original uh, their account information or their um, price but currently this time it's fine um, next what we want to go ahead and do is grab a user details say these things here and we want to chuck these in at the bottom outside of this loop and change this here to file info so this will tell you say because obviously later we're going to add um, thing where you can add an account 
um, then we're going to obviously have it so that it'll be created on a different date to the main account. Um, but at this stage it's going to say that you created it at the same time as the main, main account pretty much. Uh, maybe a few seconds, minutes off. Okay, so currently we've got that. Now we want to go for x in range. Um, now we want to make sure that this is inside this first loop. I don't believe it really matters for this because so we, we just want it to pretty much to be at least there um, just so that if it reaches the um, just so that it can save before it opens up the next one for writing so like before say you say you want to add two accounts we want to make sure that it's saved that file before it starts save starts uh, writing to the next file um, because otherwise it's going to overwrite file info and all those um, things that are storing the data for that account. <coughs> so for x in file info, um, what do we call it? Well, call account. So account dot write. Um, I'm going to write a string of um, x plus slash n, so to break the line. And then at the bottom here, um, as you know, we want to keep this within here, within that while loop uh, thing. So we just want it to be in the same line as that final one. Just because I'm going to go ahead and put an else here. Um, and print file already exists. Sorry, account already exists. Account already exists. Okay, so now what we can go ahead and do is we can go to the console and have a look at this working. Alright, so as you can see, it's created a test at the space 8 or the num of the number 8. Uh, our account owner's full name can be something some email with the address of something street and the phone number of one two three four five six uh, we want to open two accounts say we want to open a uh, savings account with uh, to four five thousand dollars in it and a tertiary account with uh, twenty dollars in it because the students are poor um, it's done now we can go up and test this check that it worked Alright, so now that was uh, 8, so we have this one here, you can see within the 8 um, account we have our details of our something, uh, some email, something street, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the time and date created, or date and time created. Uh, if we go and open this, uh, the savings account, we can see it's got $5,000 in it. Um, we then have the date that it was created and the time that it was created. Um, and that's currently all we have. Uh, in the tertiary account, we'll have our $20, um, our date created, and our time created. Now this here just needs to store the, the number of the account, so how much money is within that account, um, because obviously when you load it back into the program later on, that we're gonna do uh, a few videos, or next video maybe, I don't know, um, you'll obviously then give it that monetary value uh, where it'll have the dollar sign or whatever before it, um, you just need to store it so you know what the amount in the account is. Now, I want to go back to the bank app because there's one thing that I've slightly forgotten to do, um, and that is add uh, the account was opened with thing in the day and time of that being opened. So, um, pretty much we want to grab this here um, and give it a date and time um, that it was edited last, or that there was a transaction, or whatever. So pretty much we want to put a, oh, I don't want to insert, um, we want to put this here, and we want to go, um, put a dash, and we want to go, account opened, and we want to go ahead and put a dollar there, with dollar sign, and um, whatever the zeroth item of the file is, so file info, zero. So whatever that zeroth item of the account is uh, will be added to the thing. So we can go ahead and show that now. 
All right, so if we take a look at this again, uh, you can see we created an account test uh, well, with the account number three, um, something else, uh, email something else, email something else, street with a 987654 uh, phone number, uh, and we want two accounts, one savings with uh, $6,000 in it, and one tertiary with two, uh, with uh, $100 in it. This student's a bit more rich. <laughs> and if we go ahead and look at the file system for this, then we can see, um, so it was number three. Uh, if we open the details, you can see something else, all that stuff that we usually have. Uh, we have our account created on the 20th of the 18th uh, with $6,000 in it, our tertiary uh, created on the 20th of the 1st, 2018, with $100 in it, uh, and in the future reference, uh, we'll have more of these um, going throughout uh, with, um, obviously, transactions, input uh, deposits and withdrawals, payments, all that sort of stuff. Um, but currently for this video, that's going to do a wrap. Uh, I kind of did go a little bit too long now. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that'd be a great help to my channel um, if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to drop them in the comments below um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making um,